If you guys want to get yourself incredibly cheap FIFA coins, then make sure to check out fifacoin.com. They have all sorts of sales across April for members, so you can get yourself even more coins for even cheaper prices. And of course, when you do use the code PENGUIN, you'll get 5% off all of your orders. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet again another FIFA 17 sniping video. Today we're going to be exploring a ton of of new sniping filters from marquee matchups. These are incredibly active at the moment and probably the best filters since the start of FIFA 17. So of course we are actually going to be sniping players on these filters as well so it's kind of a sniping reactions video included into this sniping filters um, informational video I suppose. If you guys do enjoy it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. You've basically only got two or three days remaining on these filters guys so make sure to do them as soon as possible and take advantage because they are insane to snipe players on right now. Like I mentioned, 2,000 likes would be greatly appreciated. As always, a link to at Bounty will be in the description. Um, you can get yourself free Microsoft points and PSN codes over there and using the code Penguin, start you off some bonus points. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go straight into these filters. So the first one we've got here is probably the most generic filter. There is the least amount of profit to be made from this filter, but it is incredibly active and very easy to snipe cards on. So we're going to be looking at Russian players of gold quality and above. Honestly though, guys, this is one of the easiest, most active filters. 400 coins. Oh my god, Kirchikov. He might... Oh, he's a Zenit player as well. I think he's going to be a lot more expensive. So, like I was mentioning, it's one of the easiest sniping filters there has been all year to make insane amounts of profit and very quick turnarounds as well. Like I just showed, you only need to search a couple of times before you do get the opportunity to snipe a card. So, like expected as well, guys, the cheapest Kirchkov on the market right now is 3,500 coins because it does play for Zenit. So, missing him for 450 coins, we have missed out on tons of profits. I will explain to you guys later on as well, by the way, why that Zenit card was so expensive. 450. I've got... No! Oh my god! You guys just saw the market is kind of buggy. It did take a while to process that, but... Another card for 450 coins. As I was mentioning, Zenit cards are incredibly expensive. So if you can get them on this sniping filter, you have got an absolute bargain. But another card already as well for 450 coins and we miss it. So as you can see, again, guys, this card also fairly expensive. This one's got a 1.3 thousand coin bid on him right now. So probably selling for around 1.8k. And for so cheap, again, missed out on a load of profit. 650, 600, wait, 650, yeah? Oh, we did get him as well. Quality. Right, we got a, an actual rare card as well this time. However, I'm not really sure that makes too much difference as just all the Russian cards are selling for extortionate amounts right now. So, picking him up for that cheap though, he'll probably sell for around 1.3k I'd assume. So, not too bad. Very happy with that. And it's the first card we've got on this filter. 500. I was a bit late on it. I'm not sure. It said 59.59. Look how, okay, we did get him as well, but look how buggy the market is, guys. It is taking so long to snipe these cards, but it just shows, even with the lag, there mustn't be too many people on these filters right now, as so I was still able to successfully get that snipe for a very nice price, by the way. So, so another card here where we will actually make some pretty decent coins. 550. Please, why is it taking so long? The suspense is killing me. Okay, this is actually a joke. It's been on the market now. Yeah, there we go. It's been on the market for 10 seconds. I assume that it processed it in the first actual millisecond that I clicked A to buy it now. But again, another card here for extremely cheap. I've seen the, la oh, the last three I've seen. Sorry, I've actually sniped successfully all of them. So just showing once you do get into a rhythm. It is actually very easy to snipe cards on this filter. Now, I mean, you only make around... 300 to 500 coins per snipe, unless it is a Zenit St. Petersburg player or another one who we explore later on in this video. But other than that, for 500 coins a snipe, this is still incredibly good. Okay then, so for the second filter we're going to explore in this video, I got around five clips on the previous sniping filter, so we'll move on to another one now. We're going to be looking at Spartak Moscow players of any quality, and these are all on the market for around 10,000 coins. This is genuinely one of the best sniping filters that has been on FIFA 17 through marquee matchups. 400 coins. No way. How have I missed him? We have seen one already, guys, for literally minimum price. 400 coins for a Spartak Moscow player. So I've just missed out on 9.5k profit right there, guys. 
That's how easy it is. On the very first card that we see, he has been listed up for basically no coins at all. And you can sell him on for 10k. I can't believe we've seen one already for minimum value. And I've gone and actually missed it. 8.8. .8. Okay, we actually get our first Spartak Moscow player. Now, he is actually on the threshold that I'm sniping these cards for, as I am trying to get them for 8.8k and below. This is the second card we saw, and we actually got him. So, even though there is miles less profit margin in this card to the previous one we saw, we actually still managed to make around 1k after EA tax. 1k. Please. 1,000. I've missed another incredibly cheap Spartak Moscow player. 1,000 coins. Now, these people who are listing them up clearly do not realise they are selling for basically 10 times that amount at 10,000 coins. Can't believe I've gone and missed another one. But this just shown though, guys, a lot of cheap Spartak Moscow cards do come onto the market all of the time. So, you just have to be quicker than the other person trying to snipe them and you will make yourselves thousands of coins just from one snipe alone. Obviously though, guys, it will 3.5. Oh my god. So yeah, it will be harder to snipe these cards which are cheaper. Another one. 800 coins. I've just... Oh my lord. As I was explaining to you guys that the cheaper ones are probably going to have more competition on them. I go and see two in the space of two searches. And this guy here as well for 800 coins. Basically guys, over the last 10-15 seconds, I've just missed out on probably around 18k profits. I missed both of the cards available to us there. Can't believe that. This is so infuriating now to get the one for 8.8k. And then ones which are virtually minimum price, I go ahead and miss out on them. 8.5k. Okay, we did see that one bang on the one hour mark. And the mark actually loaded me in pretty quickly there. Smooth sailing to be fair. And for a silver card, which will sell on for 10,000 coins, we actually pick them up at 8.5k. So that is only the second one we have successfully managed to snipe. Even though I have seen tons of these cards. So, this one, definitely harder to snipe on. Don't only recommend you guys trying this filter if you are a very capable sniper. Otherwise, probably just go check out the first filter that we explored in the video. 7.5k. On the one hour mark. I've got to have got this one. Yes, I did as well. I managed to pick up two players in literally two searches. Okay, that is not very often we do that. Especially on this filter, which is, to be fair, very hard to snipe on. 7.5k, actually the cheapest card we have picked up so far. Not the cheapest we have seen, not for a long mile, but still make about 2k on this snipe. So pretty happy with that one. Oh my god. Fuck, 1,000 coins? Okay, we get one for 7.5k. We literally just saw one, by the way, guys, like 10 seconds ago for 1k, but... I didn't stick around, carried on going, and it was actually a good job that I didn't hang around and talk about the other card because we would have missed out on this guy here. 65 rated, doesn't matter of the quality, um, even the bronzes are selling for 10,000 coins. So, again, another decent snipe here, and we'll make a couple of thousand coin profit. Unfortunately, couldn't pick up the 1k card, but that just seems to be the way it is going at the moment. Only actually successfully sniping the more expensive players. Gotta be it. Right, okay. Oh my lord, I've just missed so many of them in a row. Right, I'll probably include that all is just one segment, even though I didn't talk through it, so it's kind of awkward, but I'm gonna move on from this filter now. I've literally just seen four of them in the space of 30 seconds, and I missed every single one. Some of them weren't even that cheap, neither. I've seen plenty that I won't include in this video, but just shows you guys how active this filter is right now honestly mental and if you can snipe one of the incredibly cheap cards that you do see fairly frequently then you'll make a lot of profit okay then so for the third and final sniping filter of this video we're going to move down to one which hopefully will be less competitive as the spartak moscow sniping filter again it is just based around one team this time it is gold players from zenit st petersburg we're going to be sniping them at around 1.8k because at the moment the cheapest card on the market is 2,300 coins. 1.3k. We get the first card we see. I was not expecting that. 
1,300 coins. This is like 1.2k under. Probably will list them up at around 2.5k. We get Neto. I'm actually really happy with that. I wasn't expect after doing the previous filter, which there was so much competition on, and getting the first card on this new filter, I really was not expecting that. Again, only around 1.5k, but if you can snipe these pretty much every time, then you're going to make a lot of coins doing this Senate St. Petersburg method. 900 coins. No way! Lumber Arts. I don't even know how you said it. I probably just butchered his name, but a card here for 900 coins. That would have been a very nice pickup. Um, even though this is the second card we've seen, we have only been going for less than a minute. So I have got high hopes for this filter and let's just see if we can carry on and get some more successful snipes. 500 coins. I've got to... No! I didn't even get that one either. It's the same card again. Well, not the same card, but the same player again. For 500 coins this time, which is even cheaper than the previous one we saw. And like you've seen, they're all selling on for around 2.5k, so that would have been an instant 2k profit. I was really quick. How have I missed him as well? It's the same guy. This guy is just like the bane of my life right now, sniping this card. Everyone we're seeing as well is cheaper than the last. This one, 450 coins. Honestly, thought I was going to get that one, to be honest. I was pretty quick in it. The market is playing up a bit, but I'm not too sure how much of an effect that is having. We'll carry on. I've got to snipe at least one more of these cards before I finish up. What is going on with the market? Neto again. I've got... Yes, okay. We did get him that time. Right, I was literally just saying that we're going to finish up after getting the next player successful snipe. Unfortunately for me, we go ahead and get Neto here for a very nice price. Like I've mentioned throughout though guys, the market has been buggy whilst I've been recording so I'm not sure if that has actually affected my capability to get these snipes successfully but even if it did have an effect, I've still been fairly successful or at least I believe I have. Picked up plenty of cards and showing you guys that these filters are incredibly active. Anyway though guys, I am actually going to leave it here for the video. We have sniped a lot of cards throughout. And even with the market being fairly laggy, which I'm not sure if it did or did not affect my capability of sniping these cards. Um, even if it did, we've still had a lot of successful snipes in this video. So it just shows, even if the market did have an effect, it is still fairly simple and straightforward to snipe these cards. If you guys did enjoy, then it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. 2,000 likes, as I did mention at the start, is the target for this video. I know it is a lot, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed and hopefully this video is worthy of hitting that target. So make sure to smash the like button. Do subscribe if you are new as well. Like I did mention, guys, these filters are only going to be around for the next two to three days, depending upon when I do release this video. So please, please take advantage of these filters because it's not often throughout FIFA 17 that we do get filters where you can make 10,000 coins from one snipe alone so make sure you guys go check them out let me know in the comment section down below how successful you have been on these sniping filters if you do try them out love to hear what you guys think about it um, like mentioned make sure to smash the like button do subscribe if you are new around here this brings us to the end hopefully you guys have enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time